Alright guys, so we're here, back again today. Yesterday we talked mainly about this Crim6 rumour, well, not really a rumour to be honest. He announced that he's a restricted free agent from, formerly of Optigaming, of course now Optigaming, owned by Immortals. They own the spot, or one of the spots, in Los Angeles for the upcoming CDL season. What I talked about towards the end of the video that some of you guys made out of notice, because of course as the video goes on, the viewership of the video drops off, I thought I would bring up once again today the Atlanta roster that was rumoured from yesterday. I did talk about it to some degree at length yesterday, so I won't go into actual much detail today but I thought I would at least touch on it and show you guys the rumours as it is because I've heard that this is very likely to be the case and um, as a result I thought I'd share with it with you guys again for those of you who didn't see it yesterday because it was at the yeah, latter half of the video. So that's what we're going to get into. Before we start I wanted to mention that the Call of Duty Modern Warfare you know, beta, uh, beta, however you want to pronounce it, starts in two days on September the 12th. So early access to the beta begins September the 12th, exclusively on PS4, unfortunately, for the first weekend. I believe there is a second weekend on which um, it's going to be hopefully cross-platform even, something like that. It's a little bit complicated with how they're doing it with the platforms, but it begins September 12th. I believe you can actually start um, pre-ordering it now for PS4 players who have pre-ordered or if you've uh, ordered online and you've got a beta code, beta code, whatever, you can actually start downloading it as of now. So if you have done that and you weren't aware of this, you can start pre-loading the beta so you can play it just as it drops on September 12th and quite often they make it live a few hours early because um, if they make it live dead on time then literally everyone is ready, they're playing and the servers just go mental. If you let it live a few hours early then uh, not everyone is ready. People are at work and whatever, it gives the servers an easier time. So probably it will go live early again, and that would be my prediction. This is the rumour then. What I'm hearing, Atlanta Cod, this is from Crone CD CDL Intel, it's now called, keep wanting to say CWL Intel, but um, the times have changed. Simp, ABZ, Priester, Celium, and Maniac. So some of you guys commented on this in yesterday's video. I went into some length on it, but um, today I wanted to touch on some of my key thoughts. Firstly, unbelievable amount of talent on this team. This team honestly looks like a um, like a, an S and D star team that I would see playing a challenge like Black Ops Three or something. Um, you know, ABZ and Priester really come up over the last, only over the last couple of years. But I mean, just look at the look at the talent on this team. Like Simp and ABZ, undoubtedly best SMG duo from the Black Ops 4 season, joined by Priester who was very highly rated um, in terms of people thought he was really really good. Personally I think despite him being highly rated by a lot of people, I still think to some degree he was underrated, overshadowed sometimes by people on his team but did a very difficult role at times and did it incredibly well, could use all weapons. Celium was pretty damn phenomenal this year in the latter half at least on Face Clan, had some fantastic maps especially in the hard points. And then Maniac is an interesting pick. He was damn good this year on the whole. He was a lot of in a lot of people's fantasies in the earlier half of the year. Towards the end, not as good, but of course had some great results and um, you know came second a couple of times. Learns to be as the year went on a, a pretty damn clutch player to be honest, or at least getting there. This team is probably like the shortest team ever assembled, if it does indeed get assembled. Of course, what a lot of people are suggesting is where is the leadership on this squad? And to start with. We're looking at this squad through like a Black Ops 4 lens. We haven't seen pretty much any of these players in the jetpack in the non-jetpack titles. The players that we have are Priester in World War II and Abizi especially was very good in World War II. I imagine that these players will also be very good in Modern Warfare. But we don't know how that game will play. Simp and Abizi are incredibly fast place players, so is Priester, so is the rest of the team, to be honest. Despite the fact that they may be assault rifles, they're still very fast paced assault rifles are Celium and Maniac. Will that work in a Modern Warfare style? Will all of them be able to adapt equally well to a slower paced game? Difficult to say. Also, where's the leadership here, right? Where's the Clayster? Where's the Aix? Where's the JCAP? Where's this, uh, you know, the Crim6, the Karma? This type of player they can put together and mould um, these kind of players together. That's why I say it kind of looks like an S&D star team, right? There's no leadership here, there's no championship, but there's championship winning experience, of course. Um, all of these players except Selium and Maniac have actually won a championship. Selium hasn't been to a grand finals, but Maniac has been twice. Of course, Priester won two championships this year, as did Simp and Abizi. So they've done it before, they've won, but only on one title, right? Not over multiple years, not after multiple years of having um, issues of, you know, dropping down the pecking order and then making their way back up. These guys don't have really experience doing that on the same level, a lot of the guys like Jacob um, is a player that I would love to see on this team or, you know, a Clayster or something like that. Interesting that they are not. Um, and, you know, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts down below. So a little bit of an expansion on that. Let's move onwards. 
Adam Killerslos, a world champion back in the Black Ops 2 days, has officially announced he's a free agent for the CDL. I'm an S&D specialist who can contribute to a franchise as a substitute or coach. I've won COD champs, turned a dead last team in the league to a second place team, and dominated S&D till 2014. If you guys don't remember this uh, second place team, that was Dream Team back in um, Black Ops 3. I'm trying to think of the team now. Chino, Diabolic, and Sender, I think. Um, I think maybe Ivy was on the team for a bit, but um, I think it was, think maybe not when Killer was there. So, interesting squad, of course. Killer, he wants to be a free agent. SD specialist would be really interesting trying to be a substitute or a coach. I, I like how he doesn't um, go incredibly optimistic here and say that, you know, I want to be a player right on the front line, straight back again. He has some realism, right? He wants to be an SD sub or a coach or a player like that. And um, I appreciate the effort. Oakley Philip James Loss at Gmail. Com. I think that might be his like um, son's email or I'm a little bit confused here maybe that doesn't he have two sons now that might be right because I think Philip um, I know he's named one of his sons his middle name Philip after after Fizzup his first name and Oakley I think is the name of his first son I don't know I'm just doing um, some meaningless speculation killer's a free agent for next year Scraps says this Scraps says today was easily a top two day in my life thank you God I don't know what I've done to be this blessed but thank you everyone that's shown love my way to this point I hope you guys never leave I appreciate you all. A lot of people are looking at this thinking, has Scraps been signed to a team? It definitely kind of looks like it, right? Maybe something incredible happened in Scraps' life um, that he obviously can't talk about on Twitter if it was something like winning the lottery or uh, something mad like that or, you know, whatever the case may be, he would have probably expanded on what it was. The fact that he hasn't done implies it's probably something career-related which is something franchise related. So it's interesting to see how this will turn out. The interesting part, of course, is that Scraps is on FaZe Clan. The question has been, will FaZe Clan get a spot in the CDL? Exactly what's going to happen there? The fact that he seems like he's signed with a team and the other FaZe guys haven't said similar things means that either FaZe aren't getting a spot and Scraps has moved elsewhere. And we'll go on to a tweet from an E United guy in a, in a second to have a look at that in more details and exactly what the issues are with teams that don't currently or not yet have a, have a franchise. Um, but it does seem to me that Scraps will be going elsewhere to the franchise spot. Atlanta was rumoured to be linked to FaZe. And of course, uh, as we see with this Atlanta roster, which apparently has quite a lot of credibility behind it, Priester and Selium, of course, on FaZe right now priests are back on loan from 100 thieves they're going to be going to atlanta rumored and that means that you know what exactly is going to happen to phase it doesn't necessarily look like it's going to stick because otherwise we might have seen similar tweets like this from the other phase guys but as far as i'm aware we haven't seen that so think of that what you will accuracy says the following looking towards the city i'm signing with next season eyes emoji where exactly will it be does the fact that he's looking up in the top left indicate, you know, Northwest US, Seattle, whatever, but there is a rumor that Seattle actually has a spot, which we'll go into in a second. If I predicted that, um, you know, well, what can I say? And uh, Kenny says the same thing. A couple of tweets here. Thanks to Odak on Twitter who tweeted me this. And, um, you know, it's just a small thing. But if you guys do want to reach out to me on Twitter, you find something interesting, feel free to link it. And, uh, you know, I'll put your Twitter right here for all to see to get the credit you deserve. So Dylan uh, put this on. I'm guessing this is Instagram. I don't have Instagram. So um, it looks kind of like Insta. I just want to fast forward and get playing again in the 2020 season. Fly to Dallas tomorrow. Dot, dot. You know, Dallas, Envy. What does this mean? Maybe he's going there. Question mark question mark um you know a little bit of rumors also this individual kodiak um you know esports things opt gaming immortals apparently he's involved with them spooky con they should have an at there but at spooky cod gets in contact and uh, points out that kenny and slasher have followed this individual so if he's involved with immortals involved with opt gaming i'm guessing he's um you know los angeles individual probably working with some of the talent acquisition there kenny and slasher could they be going to la you know i thought i'd run it past you guys at the very least i'll, I'll play a clip for you guys right now just because we talked about the crim six free agent stuff yesterday karma had a little clip on stream where he talked about it all i say about the roster shit is it's literally a repeat <laughs> of last year no one wants to say anything to anyone <clears throat> bobby did swagger there we go give you 50 yeah he did so i tweeted what i did i was sniping the shit out of us as I'm sitting here in the dark doing nothing, assuming no, Scott, thank you again. while people are doing stuff, then no one says anything. 
pretty interesting stuff yet to say just how he's pretty much been left in the dark and um, you know this is what some individuals on reddit say about it Krim was told karma wasn't sounded like they want to keep him around as an option that'll be my guess Damlin has publicly stated his displeasure with the Cronus and didn't say he and said he didn't want to play if it was used which he talked about a while ago um, and apparently according to his stream now he does still want to play or at least he's having second thoughts and well some talk about um, some talk about scumpy karma whether that's the situation, who really knows if that's if that's the case. But just a bit of speculation to continue the video with. Here we go then. Pretty damn big rumor again. Rumor Seattle to be a location in the COD World League or you know Call of Duty League, whatever. Heard about this months ago, and in the last few weeks I've been hearing more and more. But here's the confusing part. They all tell me it's owned by Luminosity. We've had these rumors that LG might be getting denied a franchise spot, and if it is the case, that would be good. A pretty damn legendary Call of Duty name at this point. They've been around in COD for a very long time now to be honest it would be great to see them maintain their status in COD and um, you know it would be very good to see so this is the rumor we did talk about a couple of days ago how Seattle was rumored Skylar Johnson foreplay talking about um, Northwest US getting some love soon so if this is the case who might be going here? Will any of the current LG guys stay on? Because that's an interesting tweet that we'll go through in a second here from E United Dan Clerky, I think one of the senior guys there. I don't know how free agency windows open for a franchise league before all the franchises are even decided. This has happened in multiple games now. The playing field is slanted like crazy. Hey, U6 teams are good to go. You can sign whoever you want. Hey, U4 who are still reviewing if those six teams want your players, you're going to have to make some hard decisions. Interesting how he says U6 teams are good to go. Hey, U4. I don't know whether this is indicative of um, how many teams he thinks are still around because obviously nine teams have been confirmed so far. So I don't exactly know where he's getting these numbers from. Probably just plucking them out of his head and just, uh, you know, just random stuff. Thought I'd bring it to your attention if it did have some sort of um, Freudian slip meaning behind the scenes. But effectively what he's saying is that right now, if you're any United, you don't know whether you're going to get a spot. You're going through the process with Activision. You're going through the process potentially of being uh, merging or being bought out by Lee Zyben, maybe getting the Houston spot. Lots of things undecided. However, you're the reigning world champions. Everyone wants to come at you and pick up your players. Everyone's coming for Simp, Arsites, you know, Clayster, big franchise name, Abizi, of course, um, potentially on that Atlanta team that we talked about. So everyone wants to pick up your players, but you in an ideal world would want to keep some of them, but you don't know if you're going to get a franchise slot next. So can you realistically say, no, we're going to hold these players? Um, and, you know, from what we've heard from Minnesota, that they can match the elf. Uh, they can, like, say someone offers Simp, like, stupid cash. United can be like, okay, we'll pay that as well. We're keeping Simp under contract. But then if they don't get a spot, then um, then you've lost all your money, haven't you? So that's not an ideal situation, and you've lost the opportunity to sell all those players. So not ideal at all for the guys that aren't in the league as yet which uh, includes luminosity so maybe they've they've been pressured to sell players maybe um nv has bought out gunless but as we talked about hastro saying he doesn't want tilt you know he wants tilt free players maybe gunless isn't on the radar maybe he will stay on luminosity go to seattle next season maybe go to toronto of course because he is canadian born throwing a lot of ideas out here um this is one thing that came out yesterday a lot of uh, fans or not fans but pros came out and said uh, this is like barely any of this is true but i thought i'd run it past you for the interesting reason that the uh, when this was tweeted out by CDL Intel a few people replied to this saying you know it, it's not true or whatever assault I think said it down here this ain't it chief and I think another couple of pros said similar things and, and have since been deleted and then what he replies with is pros commented saying this burner is fake news but not one pro commented on the Atlanta roster I leaked um, implying that the Atlanta roster is really rather likely because I did definitely see a lot of pros saying on this that it isn't true I'll just you know let you guys read it to, to spark imagination this guy has done some leaked things on the optic reddit in the past i think some of them have been true but it's uh it's highly highly uh, unreliable i'd say but i thought this would be interesting at least for you guys to read through Dashi and TJ will get matched. Seth is unknown, like 80% these days. Demon won't star. That's probably a deal breaker. So a few things and a lot of players saying it isn't true. So I don't put too much credence into this. Just use this as, um, as you know, um, fuel to the fire that this Atlanta roster may indeed be happening behind the scenes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you're new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you next time. What am I on about?